the Simple Minds Hurdle is next up. Yet another three mile hurdle. And at the top, it's Change for the Better. Joshua Sutherland, Demiris Giza, Graham Clutterbuck, Duparque, Darren Thompson, Hot Springs Well, Vinnie Gerard, thanks a million. David Hooley, Tough Has Boots for <laughs> Graham Clutterbuck, Under Orders. Martin Linham, City Carnival, Jim Murray, Just Want to Check, Joshua Sutherland, Neve Campbell, Matt Cooper, Straw Doll, David Robertson, and Vermillion Nearer for James Shea. They're called in and away and heading towards the first flight in the rain. Seems to have been quite a few three mile hurdles this week. Under Orders and Neve Campbell are disputing the lead. As they head towards the first, we've still got a decent sized field for this one of 12. 10 flights to take. In this one, uh, Neve Campbell and Under Orders have pulled about five or six lengths clear of the rest of them. Are just headed by De Parque and the Maroon with the White Sleeves on the outside of that one. Change for the better. They finally get two and over the first, and all of them do so successfully with Under Orders. Now in the lead, just being restrained by the jockey, doesn't want to go on too much, keeping Neve Campbell for company. There's a three length gap then to De Parque in third, the Joshua Sutherland pair running together, just want to check and change for the better as they get to the second, which they're all over safely, Straw Doll is in fifth, behind that one, the green jacket of Vermillion Nearer, and with the black and red of Jim Morris City Carnival, next and a little gap to Vinny Gerard's two shades of green with Hot Springs well, the two grown clutterbuck horses are after that one, the grey on the rail, Is Damaris Giza. Uh, the one on the far side is Tough Has Boots. The back marker at this stage is the purple jacketed Thanks a Million for David Hurley. Neve Campbell and Under Orders are continuing to dispute the lead. A five length advantage from De Parque. Straw Dolls now just poked his head into fourth as they make their way towards the next flood. Neve Campbell and Under Orders matching strides in the lead. Well clear of the rem remainder. They've already gone through the first mile. And they only took two flights in that first mile, so some will be coming up pretty quickly. That one was the third they've just taken. This next one will be the last, I think, next time round. And it's Under Orders who leads over it from Neve Campbell over its second. And De Parque and change for the better. That's in the stand. I'll pass the winning post now and then go out for one more circuit. Six more flights to take. And the next one won't be for a while yet. Yeah, I don't think Neve Campbell's in the lead. Under orders is second. Gap of five then to De Parque. Well, they're not really changing a great deal then change for the better city kind of a million nearer is next making a bit of a move on the outside is hot springs well also damaris geezer the gray is getting a little bit closer straw doll has dropped back a little bit neve campbell made a mistake uh, that one which has given the lead back to under orders neve campbell second vermilion nearer now third to parquet four then change for the better then a line of about six of them as they get over the sixth Thanks a million, just struggling a bit at the back, which is a surprise to see. The David Hooley hurdler, they normally go well. But it's Under Orders and Neve Campbell continuing to dispute the lead as they have done throughout the race. De Parquet still there in third on the inside. They've changed for the better and Hot Springs well on the outside, then Vermillion nearer. Uh, just want to check in between the two of them. Damaris Geezer is going to need a little bit of help with a gap, I think. Also, Straw Doll's got itself a little bit trapped in as well. City Carnival's got a clear run around the outside, and now, thanks a million, he's starting to make it a bit of a forward move and has gone past. Tough has boots. As Under Orders and Neve Campbell continue to show the way, but they're not as far in front now as they have been. We're inside the final seven furlongs now. And they've only got three more flights to take, and Neve Campbell on the inside, driven back up into the lead. From Under Orders in second over to third last. Then comes City Carnival, change for the better is after that one. And for Million Nearer seems to be travelling nicely, so she does just want to check. Look at this, thanks a million, it was stone last a mile ago. And now it's cruising through 
the field, cutting through the field like butter. It's almost like City of Troy in a derby, the way it's going at the moment. It's Neve Campbell in the lead, though, from Under Orders in second. Here comes this, thanks a million. Look at this. It's come right through from last to first in the space of, well, much less than a mile. And he's quickly gone five or six lengths clear. Is this some sort of monster we've got here or what? Thanks a million. Six lengths clear in a blink of an eyelid, really, has completely changed the complexion of the race in a matter of strides. Thanks a million then. Well clear. Let's just hope he hasn't gone too soon. Just want to check. He's now under pressure, chasing in second. The whole field is now completely under pressure with the exception of this leader who's just cruising to the lead as though he was racing against, well, snail or something. It's difficult to describe really, but it's racing down towards the final flight and he's beginning to tie up now, so maybe it wasn't such a good move after all. Just want to check he's now closing. Thanks a million gets over the last and nearly falls and he's taken by. Just want to check. Neve Campbell's been pulled up and suddenly it's all changed again as the Josh Sutherland pair take it up and it's change for the better who's swept into the lead. Vermillion Nearer is running on as well but change for the better wins it. Just want to check in Vermillion Nearer close for a second then thanks a million who looked like a complete donkey then looked like a complete superstar and then hit the wall and it's a real strange performance by that one. I'm sure that's got David Hooley scratching his head just a little bit. Uh, Josh Sutherland won't mind at all, because he's got a 1-2. Change for the better, and just want to check Vermillion Nearer. Got up for third for James Shea. Thanks a million for David Hooley, home for fourth. And Hot Springs well for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth. A curious race there for the old Simple Minds Hurdle.